Good day, fellas. It is Maxi RSPS, and today we're on Azariah. So Azariah has had some insane updates lately, and now is the best time to check out the server because honestly, they are smashing out the content updates and some amazing quality of life changes. So for the first part of the update, they actually have added a dry street counter, which is really nice to see. Um, makes it very good if... Uh, you go dry on these rare items, you will be guaranteed um, guaranteed to get the drop, basically. Which is quite nice, they've done it in a way that, where it's balanced. But um, it means if you get extremely unlucky on those rare drops, uh, you will be guaranteed to get it eventually with that new dry streak system. The next thing is they've added some new upgrades. So we have the Cursed Amulet tier, and um, to get these, you'll need Torture Amulet, two canisters, Cursed Gems, which you can get from the Slayer Shop. The other way you can get this is 1 in 50 chance after completing a Slayer's task, you can get these gems. And you'll need your upgrade tickets. And there's a Magic version, Melee version, and a Ranged version. Now in the TA upgrades, we actually have a new cape, the Azerite Max Cape. This thing is really cool, but you will need 10 Azerite attachments and a Fire Cape Tribrid. Now the Fire Cape Tribrid is extremely easy to get. Uh, you can get this quite early in the game. The Fire Capes are not difficult to do. You just have to use the different styles and do all three. It really doesn't take long to get this Tribrid Fire Cape, but you will need that. And the 10 Azerite attachments, which will be the real grind. But you can get yourself your tier 8 max cape now, which is really awesome. So for those people who like chasing the high donator ranks, they've made it way more methods to earn them in-game. Uh, rank credits are an alternative for getting donator ranks. They're the same as bonds, but they do not give store credit. So you are using these basically for adding to your donator rank and getting those donator benefits mainly more than the actual store items. The good thing about this part is you can actually get them from the vote shop for 15 vote tickets now. And on top of that, they've been added to a bunch of bosses, including Man Ray, Baron Nasher, Obliterator, Azerite Guardian, Ancient Sentinel, Tank Knight. So basically you can grind your rank credits this way and it has buffed um, some of the globals drop tables and some of the other bosses drop tables. And um, there's a good chance they'll be added to even more things in the future. So you can now get to grinding and get those donator ranks in-game by voting or doing your bosses. Some more upgrade table stuff. Basically, um, when it comes to tier 8 armor, they've changed it so you now save these items. So if you ever need to know what um, you actually keep or lose when you're upgrading, if it's in red, you can see this item will be lost if the upgrade's failed. But if it doesn't have the red outline, then basically um, you're safe. I believe the chance went down a little bit, which is fair. But um, your tier, your Diablo body, for example, and your Undead gem, all these things will be safe for your tier 8 armor. For any of the tier 8 armor now, your Exodia body is safe. So all you're really needing to do is spend upgrade tickets. The chance had to be lowered a little bit, I believe to make it uh, a bit more balanced because a bit, bit easy otherwise. But um, yeah, your TA upgrade armor is now safe when upgrading. Now I did want to check the sneak peek part of the Azerite Discord because I really want to show this off here. Um, look how nice this home area looks. I cannot wait to see this in the live game. Um, we've got the chest I can see. we got some portals over there. And it, it just looks so much cleaner. Um, I can't wait to see that in the live game. And the other thing is, that was posted yesterday, AOE zones. Uh, this is really awesome to see. I'm um, getting AOE stuff happening. I'm here for it, some new zones. Um, it's going to be really nice and efficient to be able to just AOE a bunch of... Um, monsters at the same time so yeah some really awesome stuff happening and there is a ton more coming update wise which is really exciting to see 
here's my hardcore. I was doing a series on this and I will be continuing. I really did enjoy what I was doing. Um, I was playing it quite safe on this account, like, um, but a lot of the content early, especially like the raids, um, the DBZ raids were safe. Uh, I believe the capes were safe as well, but they weren't difficult. And um, so a lot of the content was safe early game. But um, I really didn't want to lose this account early. Um, I have a tendency to not survive long on hardcore accounts. But uh, we were starting the the Yu-Gi-Oh grind. Um, there's a there's a few mechanics, but I would be kind of disappointed in myself if I actually planked to the Yu-Gi-Oh burrows. Um, and we did get a few pieces. We could see we've got the obelisk weapon and the summon skull, but. Uh, really, I, I don't know what you would consider this account. It's probably honestly still early game. Uh, a lot of my gear is just Slayer gear upgraded. I was just doing Slayer tasks. Um, I think I did do some Smash raids, but I don't have anything to show for it at the moment. Uh, so there is a lot to do on this series and this account, and I'm pretty excited. Um, I did a bunch of skilling, but I would like to max. I think that would be really cool as well. I just want to figure out where I was up to. Um, it's a collection log. Uh, raids. What did we do? DBZ. We didn't even finish DBZ, bro. I didn't actually get... I thought I got a lot further. I think what I was... Yeah. I think I just rushed Mithril rank, I believe it is. Um, let's have a look at the achievements. Yeah, I think I just rushed this. Um, when I started this hardcore account. I just thought, yeah. I think the Burrows had just gotten released. And, um... Yeah, so I just did skilling and I actually enjoyed it. Um, some skilling was quite nice and just I really like this achievement system, having the the ranks, um, myth, adamant, dragon, so on. Um, yeah, that, that's about where we go. I didn't actually get too far, but um, you can get, I believe you can get quite far just doing Slayer with the upgrade system. Um, so I've got Bone Shard on. Look, it's tier four or tier three. Yeah, it's tier three. Um, so yeah, it really was. I really didn't get that far in the armor department. I could easily upgrade this. Um, so there is there is literally a ton to do on um. That's right, Slayer token. So yeah, you can get quite far armor wise. Uh, you just do the Slayer, get the tokens, and um. Pray you don't. I remember, I believe it was episode one or two. I failed a ninety percent, I believe. It wasn't a big deal because the upgrade didn't cost much to do, but it was still funny to fail a ninety percent. But yeah, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to enter the giveaway, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.